Hello, in this episode I've got two new wrap dresses. It's the same pattern but I've used two different fabrics for two different looks. Hello, I'm Gabrielle from Cloth Edit and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I've got two wrap dresses for you and they both are made using the same pattern, the Atelier Jupe Savannah dress. Um, I love this pattern. It's quite different from my usual style of wrap dress and I'll talk you through some of the features that I really love. Now, first of all, I just wanted to mention that the, all my wrap dress makes have been due to a sewing challenge that I am running with Kristen from the Dahlia Society, the lovely Kristen. And um, yes, so we're running a, a challenge called So Wrapped on Instagram. And if you're new to sewing challenges on Instagram, it can seem uh, a bit daunting um, or confusing of how, how it all works. But if you are able to get onto Instagram, if you look in um, at Cloth Edit's page or um, Kristen's page, you'll see that we have details of how to enter. It's a great way to meet lots of sewers from all over the world. And I love that I'm finding out about new patterns that I didn't know about and indeed new um, designers I didn't know about. So that's been fantastic. The entries are really starting to pick up pace. There are about, well, there are over a hundred now and it's been fantastic. There's lots of wrap skirts, which I'm thrilled about. And I think I might be doing one of those soon. Um, there are lots of gorgeous wrap dresses. There are some beautiful wrap tops, wrap blouses. There's one wrap pants and my sister actually made those. She's not entering, she's participating though. Uh, so there's lots of inspiration for you to look at um, just by following that hashtag. Uh, yes, so highly recommend you follow the hashtag. When you're entering, you just need to make sure that you follow Kristen at Dahlia underscore society and get, um, me, Gabrielle at cloth edit at cloth underscore edit. And um, yes, I think that's it. And we always love to know what pattern that you use. So rather than just, just um, posting the picture and doing hashtags, let us know um, about your, your make, your special wrapped make. At the end of this video, I've got um, some inspiration for you uh, from our lovely sponsors. But I also wanted to point out that we have even more prizes um, in the prize pool. So I'll mention that at the end as well. Right, on with today's makes. And um, yes, it's the Atelier Jupe um, Savannah Wrap Dress. This is, well, I really love it. It's it's has some features that are different to the wrap dresses, um, well, or does or style lines that are different to the wrap dresses I have been making. It doesn't have a full sleeve. It doesn't have a full skirt. Um, it's quite neat, really, but there's a, a sort of a blousiness to the to the bodice to the to the wrap section of the bodice. And I was unsure about it, but I've embraced it and I really like it. So I'll just quickly look at my notes so I don't forget anything. So just some of the features uh, of the Savannah that I think you might like. Um, it has a lovely back yoke that continues over the shoulder and to the front of the shoulder. And into that, um, you have some beautiful gathers, which if you have a fuller bust, you'll really love those. Um, I do. Um, it has a slight drop shoulder, 
um, beautiful um, yoke and they illustrate the burrito method in the pattern so you have a lovely neat finish on the inside it has lots of well, not lots it has darts it has darts at the back going into the uh, into the waist and it has bus darts as well and once again I didn't have to do anything to those darts which is fantastic um, in, a, in some other patterns, in commercial patterns usually, I've got to shorten and lower that bus start. But I, ne I don't seem to have to do that with a number of indie brands. Um, right, the other feature is this has a separate waistband, which I really, really love. It's about, from memory, it's, it's wide, it's like seven centimetres wide um, and the ties obviously are the same length that attach, you know, that I continue that waistband rather. Uh, so that's lovely. It doesn't, I thought I'd made a mistake because I got to the end of, you know, fixing the, the waist, um, the waistband and ties and the skirt and I thought, how am I going to attach it? There was sort of no hole, though. No, it doesn't ask you to leave an opening for the tie of the waistband to go through. So, but they then say create the opening after the fact. And I and I didn't know about that, but I do I do like it in the end. I just did the biggest buttonhole I could on my machine, which was about four centimeters. So the tie, you know, comes in a bit as you're threading it through, but it, do it doesn't make any difference. Um, and I like the security that that buttonhole gives as well. So that's great. The other feature uh, is the skirt. So it's not a very full skirt. It's not as full as some of the wrap uh, dress dresses I've been making it's quite a it's an a-line but just a subtle a-line and it works extremely well in this viscose fabric there's beautiful movement I would I think um, add a little clear snap fastener perhaps to the front of it because I was in the wind yesterday and it does fly up a little bit Whereas the other um, wrap dresses I have are a bit fuller and there seems to be weight that's, that holds them down. Also, I've made others in linen, which is weightier, so it doesn't fly up like a viscose does. Um, but I, I really love the line of it. I think it's really, really great. Other features of the uh, Savannah dress that I think you'll like is the skirt. Now, the pattern is actually designed for that scooped um, design line, style line up the front. And I didn't want that. I just wanted it to come straight down. And they've actually done the same thing in some of the samples that they have um, made up to show off, showcase their new fabrics. And I'll insert some of those pictures here so you get the idea. This viscose was in my stash for many, many years. So I wanted to make it up in something a bit less precious to me before I perhaps tried it in one of the new Atelier Jupe viscose fabrics, which I love and I might pop in some pictures of them here for you. Um, I won't even put the names in because the names are very just descriptive of them, uh, but you can see them on the Cloth Edit website. And I, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description box. So yes, I really want to make one um, in an Atelier Jupe fabric works beautifully in viscose. I didn't stop there though. Um, I was about to make another one in viscose, to be perfectly honest, in an Atelier Jupe fabric. But then this came in. This is a lovely, soft 
um, poplin, cotton poplin. And it has a bit of crispness to it, but it's really soft and light. And I just loved the look of it. And I thought it just looked very, I think that this fabric in a wrap dress, this sort of sleeker line just would look really 70s. And I think it does. I love the colors. So it's black and tan and a kind of a, a really light, really light taupe. Um, it's it's not a stretch but it does have that touch of give in it which some poplins do have and I did exactly the same for both um, dresses but I knew that if I was going to make it in this poplin that I'd need to make that skirt a bit fuller um, and I'm so glad I did I could even go a little bit more uh, give it a, a little bit more fullness but I'm, I am happy with how it worked out and um, it's and how I did that was the back piece back skirt piece is cut on the fold and what I did is simply um, swing I um, moved that center back piece away from the scent from that fold line so I was just creating a bit more fullness in that way um, as far as the front skirt pieces I just added a little bit keeping the same waist and sort of upper hip um, fullness I just came out and increased the skirt fullness on both sides both the center front and the side seam just increased it a little bit and it worked and i really really love it it's a great great wrap dress it isn't a firm fit on the bodice so if you notice some of my other wraps it's it's firm like that this has a softness to it hence why um the designer has recommended viscose it um, the drapiness of that lends itself beautifully to the fullness that's designed into that neckline but this poplin is so is light if it was a really crisp cotton it it wouldn't work but this was so light it just it just works and it just sits nicely and the good thing about wrap dresses of course is if you're feeling that it's a bit um, open or low you can sort of pull that tighter pull the ties um, wrap it tighter if you know what I mean so that's the wrap dress I love the sleeve length I've, I just cut them long to um, so I had options I didn't want them to be too short and then regret it. So I've cut them long and I don't regret this length. I love this length and it's great. It's a great sleeve for pushing, for wearing under jackets and cardigans and things. So it's, I think it's a wonderful dress for that. So I am going to now insert some pictures of me in both of these wrap dresses. I received an Atelier Jupe um, restock so there are more savannas now in stock for you and um, yes I hope you give it a try or if you've been on the fence about it I hope this little review gave you a bit more insight into the pattern 
I just wanted to take some time to go over the sponsors for the Sew Wrap Challenge. I know Kristen has, but they've been so generous that I really wanted to mention them by name as well. I know I've showcased, um, you know, presented them in the, um, the introduction to the challenge and I've given some inspo images from them, but it's always nice to be mentioned, isn't it? Maison Ferve, a wonderful French pattern company, is donating four patterns. I Am Patterns is donating for another French company. Named Clothing or Named Patterns, Finnish company, they're donating four patterns. Pauline Alice, wonderful pattern designer, she's based in Spain, donating four PDF patterns. Closet Core is donating three PDF patterns and they are the Veronique Rue, the LED wrap and the Fiore skirt. Folkwear Patterns, lovely Molly from the States, she is donating two PDF patterns. Paper Cut Patterns, the lovely Katie um, is donating four PDF patterns. Fibre Mood, they are donating two packs of two PDF patterns. Johanna from Atelier Scammer, the lovely Johanna, is donating three PDF patterns. Andre from Now and Then Patterns, or also known as Till the Sun Goes Down, is donating three PDF patterns. And they are her only PDF patterns, so they are the three, three blouses. Um, we have Atelier Jupe, four PDF patterns from Atelier Jupe. p and Patterns, Kareen, wonderful Kareen has donated four PDF patterns. Sewhouse 7, lovely, lovely Peggy from Sewhouse donating four PDF patterns. Christine from Sewing and the City, four PDF patterns. Well, actually it's five PDF patterns because they come within a course um, which is all about sewing loungewear. So that's a fantastic prize from Christine. The um, So Different, which Kristen is now stocking in her store. All the other patterns I'm stocking at Cloth Edit. And if you're, you'll notice that Sewing in the City hasn't quite reached it, but that's my, my secret new pattern arrival that hopefully will be here soon. So the ones that Kristen is stocking through I have joined the competition, I'm sponsoring the competition are so different and Laura is sponsoring three PDF patterns. Doretta Davies is sponsoring um, two packs of, or two bundles of three PDF patterns. And those patterns are the overlap wrap, the olive skirt and the Edith dress. So to grow, lovely So to grow is donating two PDF patterns. Megan Nielsen, in another Australian designer, um, along with so to grow two PDF patterns and just recently the lovely Pattern Emporium has um, said that they are going to donate five PDF patterns and that's all in addition to the prizes that Kristen from the Dahlia Society and I are sponsoring. So I'm going to leave you with some inspiration from all those pattern companies. I hope you get involved. I hope you found the review of the Atelier Jou Savannah um, of interest. And I hope to see you next time. I hope you are well. Bye-bye.